bold, being real men. Putting females in their place, man. Right. Teaching you some new things, man. Teaching you how to how to how to carry yourself as a man. Teaching you who your real true Lord and Savior is. But y'all won't listen to us, man. Y'all listen to Young Thug, man. You niggas. You niggas. This is, this is a done daughter for y'all, man. I was just saying, man, everybody, you are what you are. In these days, you are what you are. Just, you know, we come out here to fish out the elect, man. You know what I'm saying? We ain't, we don't got the power to, to transform a motherfucker, a wicked person into being righteous. It's only ordained if you are the elect, you're going to get this, man. Everybody that's here now, man, your, your shit done been sealed. You either elect or you miss a fool, man. Because these niggas, they don't care. Like the script say, they don't even consider this is just, this is just a joke. It's a big old joke. Huh? Book of Jeremiah, chapter 42, verse 16. Then it shall come to pass that the sword which ye fear shall overtake you there in the land of Egypt. Yeah, man. Because y'all... Y'all niggas, y'all fear the end of this, man. Y'all fear, y'all, that's the biggest fear to y'all niggas, man. This society crashing, the dollar bill is worthless because y'all put y'all all into Babylon. Y'all put y'all all into America. So hearing that this shit is coming down, that that's the worst news ever, man. You'd rather your mom died in here or America's coming to a knot, man. Hmm. And that's, that's what the Lord gonna bring to you, your worst fear. That sword, that destruction of this shit, man. What? And the famine whereof ye were afraid shall follow close after you in Egypt. Yeah, man, the land of bondage. Cause soon ain't, ain't gonna be no food. That, that's what you people scared of too. You can you can see that doomsday preppers, man. Niggas prepping so much food cause they they're afraid of that, man. They're afraid that, that, that there's gonna be a lack of bread, man. They're afraid of that. But everything that you that you're afraid of, the Lord's gonna bring that towards your way, man. What? And there ye shall die. Verse 17. So shall it be with all men that set their faces to go into Egypt to sojourn there. Yeah, man, all you niggas that, that, that come into Egypt, which is the the, the land of bondage, man, y'all try, try to be one with this shit, man. Y'all try to be one with this shit. And this shit ain't nothing but wickedness, man, wickedness and folly. Right. Therefore, the Lord is going to kill you in this shit, man. Right. You wanted to be down with it? You're going to go down with it. Right. It's plain and simple. That, that's... that's uh... That's Esau. You niggas love Esau society. The Lord gonna get all you niggas guilty by affiliation, man. Yeah, we go law. You wanna fucking affiliate with the so-called white man? You gonna die with the so-called white man? Right? Right. 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 The Lord gonna rico y'all niggas, man. That was it on that. And that's twofold, cause back in the ancient times, you niggas kept running your stinking asses back into Egypt, man. Cause that's what you were used to being in bondage or that was your comfort level and that's the same thing here man you niggas got comfort in the white man making your bed up for you every night man telling you what the fuck to do these people ain't got a mind of their own man that's why they that's why they love babylon because every every three months something new to do every month is a new challenge every week is something new popping man but the scripts, it is what it is. It ain't gonna change, man. You just know, ain't nothing but death and destruction coming, man. What? But y'all, y'all don't want to, y'all don't want to hear that because y'all fear that. So y'all love, y'all, y'all want to be part of Esau, Esau society. Want to do fucking fire challenges and, and ice bucket challenge and condom challenge and all that shit, man. That's why the Lord's gonna kill every single one of you monkeys in America. That's right. right. Back in verse 17. 
so shall it be with all the men that set their faces to go into Egypt to sojourn there. They shall die by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence. And none of them shall remain or escape from the evil that I will bring upon them. None of you niggas gonna escape this, man. If you're not part of the elect, man, you're not you're not getting away from this from this martial law, this RFID chip, these these um ICBM missiles, man. You're not getting away from that. You're not getting away from the famine. The Lord is gonna catch you here because you want to be down with this shit, man. Lord, the Lord gonna take you out with this shit. What? Here you go, man. You niggas, man, it's an everlasting kingdom where you're in rulership. But y'all don't want that. Y'all want to be in subjection under the white man, catching all type of hell, man. So y'all niggas really deserve that shit, man. Jeremiah 19, 19 verse 9. And I will cause them to eat the flesh of their sons and the flesh of their daughters. Yeah, man. That, that, that's for when that pestilence come. I mean, the famine come. You niggas gonna be so fucking hungry. Because y'all Americans, y'all fat asses, man. Y'all can't go two days without eating. Y'all never, never even train y'all body to do that. Y'all never fast nothing, man. All y'all know is eat and drink, man. Willfully, whenever you feel like. So when that famine come to pass, ain't gonna be no food. You gonna see little Becky there. You gonna be like, fuck it, man. I gotta eat. I gotta eat. You gonna chop Becky up. You gonna chop Jimmy up. And you gonna eat him. Con, if I could say something, if people don't believe that. The that's why the scripture said, I will cause you to do it. The yeah. most high going to cause you people to do it. He's going to make you do it. Yeah. It's beautiful because it also spoke of pestilence too, right? So, nine times out of ten, Becky going to be Ebola flavor. She's going to be Ebola flavor Becky. God, God, God. <laughs> Back at Jeremiah 19 and 9. Hold on, hold on. And, and, and it's evident, man. There's a lot, there's a lot of fucking... Um, What's that shit called again, man? When niggas eat niggas? Cannibalism. Cannibalism in America, man. Was it? I think just last year, man, there was like three, four cases of people eating other people, man. So that's not that's not too far fetched, man. Uh, and, and I was just listening on the radio. This was last week. Uh, uh, fucking chef over there in Europe say he um he got a dish that he creating that um. It's, it's, it's real close. He, he creating a whole bunch of different uh, products and it's, it, it get, give off the taste close enough to human flesh. Because people uh, donating their bodies to science and the people uh, cutting them in and turning them in, into cannibalism and they eating it. So the, the chef say he tasted the meat, so he made a concoction that tastes close to human meat, man, for people who got that you know, infatuation with eating human flesh. It's, 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 it's not, it's not a, a, a no, no concoction, man. That's real human meat he uses, man. And they even show you in um, a, some show called I Shouldn't Be, I Shouldn't Be Alive, man. In, in about two days, man, some cracker was getting, was selling his homeboy to cut off his finger so he could eat it. That's his own finger. In only two days, man. So when these people cut off all their limbs, cut off all their fingers, they ain't got nothing else to eat, of course they gonna eat their kid, man. So th this, this cannibalism thing, man, is real. It's on and popping, man. Imagine when there's no food at all. That shit's gonna be the new norm. For you niggas that don't believe. Say this, the reason they don't believe that shit Cause they ain't never been that hungry, man. Okay. You get, man, you you get that hungry, man. You eat a piece of rock, man. How much more uh, a piece of human flesh, man? Son, Cause that wasn't when that earthquake came. Levi was eating um, what was that shit called again? Mud Sauce, pie. mud pies, sawdust cookies. Oh, yo, all type of <laughs> shit, bro. All type of shit. It's gonna be like the cartoons. Your baby gonna look like. Uh, a hot chicken 
with the, um, a tub of peas right on the side of it with some gravy. Put more salt on his head. It's going to look just like that episode of Tom and Jerry, man. Y'all niggas eat pork, so y'all eat pigs, man. So a kid, uh, another person, man, I, I, I doubt that. That's nothing, man. Plus these niggas can't hunt. It's easy. It's gonna be easy for a nigga uh, slit your fucking throat and go try to catch a chicken or a dove or something, man. These niggas can't hunt. These niggas surely know how to kill, though. They'll kill your ass and eat you. Like at Jeremiah 19 and 9. And I will cause them to eat the flesh of their sons and the flesh of their daughters. And they shall eat everyone the flesh of his friend in the siege and straightness. Wherein, so like it, wherewith their enemies and they that seek their lives shall straight, straighten them. Keep word there is siege, man. What's a siege? Kind of like, kind of like martial law when they block off roads, man. You ain't gonna be able to go nowhere. Ain't gonna be no food. Ain't gonna be nothing. The closest food is gonna be your kids and your friends, your neighbors. And when your ass weak, you ain't got nothing. All you got is your your, your little weapons. Hey, you gonna take advantage of that? Yo, Johnny, come come through my house, man. I got I got a little bit of, of peanut butter and jelly. I'ma share with you. Catch Johnny slipping, slit his throat, and eat that nigga for dinner, man. That's how you niggas gonna be thinking. Uh, this is Deuteronomy 28, 53. And thou shalt eat the flesh of thy own body, the flesh of thy sons. And of thy daughters, which the Lord thy God had given thee, in the siege and in the straightness wherewith thy enemy shall distress thee. That, that was just a, a, a direct quote, man. Again, it's speaking of that siege, it's speaking of this, this martial law that's coming up, man. When there's famine in America, because America is already out of food, man. Only food that's that's out here rapidly is GMO. That's not food. That's garbage. And when that shit, when that shit comes up, when that shit, when when martial law hits every city and trucks start stop driving around, you people are gonna be hungry to the point. Instead of eating feeding soups, y'all gonna be eating y'all newborn babies, man. That's scriptural. That's 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 a prophecy for your ass, man. Yeah, I got a uh, definition of a siege from the online etymology. It says the military sense is attested from 1300. The notion is of an army sitting down before a fortress. So basically, that's that's going into what happened, you know, like in, in uh, 70 AD, what they did was set a camp and camped around the fortress. And didn't allow the people to come down, man. And what what was one of the results? They start eating each other, man. Eating belts, shoestrings, all type of shit like that. There's nothing new under the sun, man. Only thing is, it seems new to you people because it's a it's a new age, man. All this done happened already. All that you see has already been, man. It's just in a new, a new updated fashion. Just like there was old Sodom and Gomorrah. This is the new one. This time around, it's more, it's more futuristic, so to say, man, for a lack of better terms. But it's the same thing. That's why the Lord is going to destroy this shit, man. Right. Same thing that was going on in Sodom and Gomorrah, same thing going on today, man. You niggas still little bitches. Still faggots inside. This Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. The thing that has been is that which shall be. And that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. Yeah, man. There's no new thing under the sun, man. So everything that you see has already been, man. It already has been. It seems new to you, like I said, because it's in a newer age, man. So, you see in these cars, there's, there's been a form of transportation. There were horses, chariots, 
Look, there, there, there was been transportation, but in a new form, man. A lot, a lot, a lot of technology you see nowadays, like the bread getting into, is really ancient technology, man. These shits already been here. We just modernized them shits. And, and the technology back then was better than this technology. Huh. Way better, man. Like the oven in the furnace, man. Two minutes, you put a cake in there, that shit's done. Look yeah, man. Done. Look, just like, for example, like, them, them Italians, man, they use them, them little, them little ovens, man. Not, not the ovens that you, we use, but like the fire ovens. And, and, and two minutes, that piece is done. Nice and, and cooked Chris. well. And another example with the internet, you know. Priests back in the uh, ancient day, they had the urim and the thumb. You know, where they were beaming up to, not to no uh, uh, server. They were going, to, talking to the Most High, man. This this society is just bullshit, man. It ain't nothing new. Everything that we see, like, even, even for us, man. It was prophets before us, man. Probably on, probably... Not in the okay, brothers. Brothers are brothers wearing basketball shorts. Prophets wasn't wearing that back then, but it was still prophets. Still prophesied to you ignorant people, man. Y'all right. still wouldn't listen. Y'all still would scoff. Y'all still would mock. Ban your hat. Same thing, man. It's still going on. Shit, um, shit. back then they were stone the prophets. You look at it right now. These these modern day two thirds and heathens. They want to they want to stone us, man. They just restricted by Esau laws, man. Yeah, it's um, what? Yeah, ultimately, man. Because if they, if they could, man, they'll just walk up here and put one in each, in each and every one of our brains, man. Huh. That's why they find, that's why they find uh, different ways to chastise you, man. They can't kill you because he saw getting murdered, so they go call the police, try to get you locked up or some shit, man. Fucking bums coming up here talking about what we're teaching is bullshit. People want to throw things, want to want to do everything to cause us to go off, basically, because they can't kill us. But I guarantee, if they if they could, they would, man. Man, these people don't know what they're doing when they walking by, like. When they Revelations. Chapter 13, verse 16, and he calls them all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Yeah, man. Esau, Esau is going to bring out this RFID chip, man, which, which he's going to cause every every single American to get, man. And if you if you don't get that, you won't be able to eat, to eat by yourself, man. That's just another reason you people gonna start eating each other, man. And then after a while, y'all gonna say, fuck it and take it, man. And this is already out here, man. I was reading an article, they say one in every three American has a RFID chip. Revelations, chapter three, verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Come on, man. That hour of temptation, you're going to be tempted to get this because there ain't going to be no food. Miss the Bojangles. You're not going to be able to do nothing, man. It's an invisible friend, Mr. Bojangles. You're going to be tempted to take this, man. But the Lord, the Lord, the Lord gonna gonna put gonna put that in the the, the head of the of the men of, of his of his of his elect for us not to take that man, so we don't partake in that wrath. Cause if you take this RFID chip, man, you're done. Like right. the marsh always say, RFID, ICBM, man. That's right. Did I say something? Right, cuz. 
That shit is plain, man. You either get this mark or you don't have no ties with the rest of the world.